the risk of citizens traveling to conflict zones to participate as foreign terrorist fighters in distant lands may have been minimized but returning and relocating them now pose a significant threat to the region this from calixtus joseph of the caricom implementation agency for crime and security speaking at the start of the caricom impacts and commonwealth secretariat's preventing and countering violent extremism workshop at the trinidad and tobago police training academy Mr. Joseph said nothing justifies violent extremism and terrorism. Technology enables terrorist groups to reach disenfranchised people everywhere in the world. A terrorist in Europe or Asia can provide instructions to an agent in Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, Jamaica, or St. Lucia. One can be influenced, groomed, and recruited to terrorism on the internet. It is important to note that the vulnerabilities and gaps exploited by criminal organizations are equally susceptible to exploitation by terrorists. Minister in the Ministry of the Attorney General and Legal Affairs, Fitzgerald Hines, has said the return of some foreign terrorists is at times inevitable. This, however, results in serious risks for the country. Because when they go to these regions and they get the training they do, like riding a bicycle, you don't forget how to ride the bicycle. Once you learn, it stays in you. And they would have developed all kinds of horrifying techniques to hurt and to cause damage and danger and to cause panic. Joseph said nothing could ever excuse the indiscriminate targeting of civilians. Violent extremism and terrorism is at odds with our values and our vision of a safe and prosperous community. The threat we face from violent extremism is real. It is serious, it is urgent, and it knows no boundaries. While CARICOM has been largely spared the, uh, the horror of terrorist attacks, CARICOM should not linger in the false notion that the region is immune from terrorism.